Addressing the nation on state TV, Thomas Tabane said he was finally stepping down as Prime Minister. My fellow countrymen and women, I appear before you today to announce that the work that you had assigned me may not yet be over, but the time to retire from the great theatre of action and take leave from public life and office has finally arrived. His resignation puts an end to months of political uncertainty and instability. Tabade was under pressure to resign over a case in which he and his current wife, Maisia, are suspected of conspiring to murder his former wife, Lipolelo, nearly three years ago. They have both denied any involvement. He, he was hovering under the argument that because he is a sitting prime minister, he may not be prosecuted. Obviously, that, that argument was weak. But now that he, he has uh, resigned, it can be expected that uh, the police and, and, and the national prosecution can now proceed smoothly to investigate that case uh, against him. In the capital, Maseru, some people hope their next prime minister, Moiketi Majoro, will focus on the economy. That is all we need. We are hungry. We don't have food. We don't have jobs. The salaries that we get are very low. As a result, the economy is always down. Others don't think much will change. The replacement, I don't think is going to do any, okay, the expected outcome, okay, okay, any difference. It won't make any difference because the same people, same guys who have been with the Tavana are still in government. I... Actually, I wouldn't blame the Taiwan alone for the problems of our, our government. Lesotho's new prime minister is under pressure to prove his leadership style will be different from his controversial predecessor. He also has to try to contain the coronavirus outbreak in a country of roughly 2 million people, many of whom are poor and struggling to make a living. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera.